What's up guys, Avid Geek here. We're gonna go ahead and take a look at the UI, the user interface for the Xbox One. So first let me start up the system here. Let's get right into it. There we go. So let me go ahead and log in here. I don't have the Kinect set up right now because the system isn't mine. The system is actually a friend of mine. So I'm gonna go and choose my connection. I'm going to log in. I'm not going to show you this part. All right, so I have put in my password and there we go. We're logged in. You're now on Xbox One. So here is the user interface. Very similar to a Windows 8 kind of a feel. Uh, also very similar to the system we saw on the 360, their UI. It hasn't changed that much, but it has been simplified. So let's take a look. I haven't really seen too much of this myself, but let's take a look at this together. So this is kind of your main hub. This is the home. So anytime you want to go home, this is where that's going to be at. This is your main stuff. So see what's new on the Xbox? Welcome home. You have Snap. This is where you can actually uh, kind of snap an additional program on the side of the screen. So if you want like your game here, you can have uh, Bing or some other videos playing on the right hand side or the left hand side. I forget which way it snaps, but that's called the Snap feature. We have my games and apps. Let's take a look at that. I'm assuming this is like a library. Yep, TV, party, game DVR, achievements. Okay, let's go through this. So avatars, we have TV, party, game DVR, achievements, uh, Internet Explorer, upload, friends, messages, activity, store, and settings. So this is gonna be kind of a high overview of the system UI itself. I'm not gonna go into every single one of these because that would take forever. But let's take a look at the settings real quick. Let's just get an idea of what's in here. We have Network Connect, Preferences, TV and One Guy, Disc and Blu-ray Systems, Display and Sound, Closed Captioning, Power and Startup. So Privacy, Paying, Billing, Subscriptions, and my Xbox Home. Let's go back home. So we have Insert Disc, that's where you actually have, you know, if you put your movie, your Blu-ray, your game, whatever, it'll display there. Here is the actual user on the system right now. So this is what they call my stuff, my area, you know, my login which is Avid Geek. By the way, um, this is my friend's console, but if you want to add me to your 360, just go ahead and add my gamer profile, Avid Geek, send me a message, drop me a line, anything at all. Feel free to add me. I'm more than happy to play with you guys online. So, featured, they have, I guess, whatever their feature thing is here. Let us show you around. The several great apps and features, tips and tricks. Uh, to the right, we have the store. So this is the store section. This is their own games, the movies and TV, music and apps. So games, you can download a lot of the games now uh, digitally. Just download them straight to your system, but they are going to be huge files. You're talking about 25 to 45 to 56 gigabytes per game. So that's going to take some time. Hopefully you have a fast connection. Other than that, I would say get disc because you can always sell your disc. Movies and TV, you can download movies or TV episodes here and play them on your device. You have music, you can download also music. Play music from your, play, from your PlayStation. What am I talking about? So music, you can also download music here. You can play music directly on your Xbox One. So you can listen to your great tunes. You have apps, you can download Netflix, Hulu Plus, YouTube app, uh, NFL, because they have a partnership with NFL. This is like apparently the official you know, partner with NFL as opposed to the PlayStation 4. I don't, I'm not an NFL fan, I'm not a sports fan at all, so that doesn't matter much to me. But let's take a look at what's on the left. On the left here, this is pins. So this works a lot like Windows 8. You have SkyDrive already on here, and that's kind of their cloud service. You have Skype, where you can make phone calls utilizing your Connect. You can make video calls, audio calls, whatever you want. And you also have TV, Xbox Video, and Xbox Music. So this is the stuff you actually own, your content. Pins works a lot like Windows 8, where you can pin kind of like your favorites. This is your favorites, your bookmarks. You put them all here, so if you want to bookmark a particular game you've downloaded to your system, if you want to bookmark a particular page, um, if you want to see like game FAQs, you want it there on your site, you can say snap, for example, snap, snap gamefaqs.com and it should snap on the right hand side. So you can take a look at your walkthroughs while you're playing your game. So it's very simplified compared to what the 360 had. 360 had a lot more menu options in front where this seems like a lot of the options are in the back. Uh, very interesting. Let's take a look at this. If this is change at all. 
So I can get an activity feed. You can have your activity feed as far as what you've done, my friends and so on on here. Uh, any followers, people can actually follow you and not necessarily be your friends. So they can see what you're up to, but not necessarily interact with you the same way friends do. You have messages, as always, people can send you um, text messages or voice messages on here, achievements, and your game DVR. So you can actually record gameplay onto your system and share that via Twitch, via Ustream, or some other stuff. But Twitch integration at the moment is not available. That's coming in an update. Um, you can't really stream to Twitch, but if you have an external capture card, you can go ahead and plug that in and stream using your computer. Let's take a look at my games and apps. So you can upload from here. That is their editing software you can actually upload. And they have a way of editing video. You can put yourself in the video, so it's kind of like a picture-in-picture. -picture. Um, you can add a lot of things in there. I hear it's really neat, um, but I'm not going to take a look too much into that right now. Let's take a look at the store and see what's available in the store today. Games, movies, music, and apps. So it's kind of another way of accessing that as opposed to doing to the, to the menu on the right. So we have Rise, we have Call of Duty Ghosts, Forza Motorsports, we have Dead Rising 3, very nice. Try Connect Sports Rivals, I want to try that. Uh, so you can download all these games. This is very nice. Ah, there's Killer Instinct. So very nice. I like the way this looks. It looks very appealing, very user friendly. You can see a ton of games all at once. Um, Xbox has always done a great job with their menu systems. I like it. So anyways guys, that was a quick overview of the Xbox One user interface. Let me know what you guys think. Do you like the look of it? Do you like the fact that it's very colorful? Do you like the tiles? Maybe you hate it. Maybe this is disgust you. Maybe this is terrible for you. But anyways, let me know what your opinion is. I'd love to hear it. Let me know in the comment section down below. Don't forget to like this video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. That helps me out so much, especially when you share the video. I really appreciate that, guys. I do read your comments, and I really appreciate it if you guys would send me your comments. Just let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. All right, guys, thanks for watching, and I will talk to you guys next time. Peace out.